Igbagbo bo shala yomi ela no korin Igbagbo bo shala yomi hey Igbagbo bo shala yomi tata ni lo ni ba nu je o Igbagbo bo shala yomi oya se bye bye to jati jati hallelujah Bye bye to Rede Rede. Oh yeah, in the name of Jesus. Aye, in the name of Jesus. Break it down. Now, this song is so easy. As you sing it, your heavens will surely open. How many of you believe that your heavens are opened already? You say, when I praise God, oh, heaven opens. Oh yeah, when I praise God, oh. Heaven, hey, when I praise God, oh, my heaven opens, oh, yeah. Come on, oh, yeah, when I praise God, oh, my heaven is bound to open. Hey, when I sing to the Lord, my heaven will surely open. Hey, when I dance and I clap, my heavens will surely open. Oh yeah, say when I praise God, oh heaven opens, oh yeah. Oh yeah, when I clap for Jesus, my heaven opens, oh yeah. When I clap for Jesus, my heaven opens, oh when I praise God, oh yeah. When I dance for Jesus, my heaven opens, oh yeah. Oh yeah, when I praise God, oh my heaven opens, oh. When I praise God, oh my heaven opens. Oh yeah, ijo ti mo ma josi fele du mare. Come on, let me see you dance. Oh yeah, oh yeah, hey. Oh yeah, ijo ti mo joyanto, ma josi fele du mare. Ijoti mo jo ya oto ma jo si fele du mare Oya e me a jo si fele du mare 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 Ijoti mo jo ya oto e me a jo si fele du mare Oh yeah, he just see my joy and auto, my just see fellow to marry. Everybody now, oh yeah, to you, Lord. Hey, to you, Lord, oh. Hi, to Jehovah. Come on, and adoration forevermore. I say to you, Lord, eh. Hey. Hi, to you, Messiah. To you, the ancient of days. Hey, hey. Everybody, oh yeah, to you, Lord. Hey, to you, Messiah. To you, the ancient of days. Oh yeah, I come, Marama, 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 Kakakuru. Akamaramba kakakuru chinekebo. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Your hands. Hey. Akamaramba kakakuru chinekebo. Maraya akamaramba. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Jesus. Glory to you, Lord. 
Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. Say you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My Redeemer, you are. Just one time, everybody sing it, say. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My Redeemer, you are worthy to be. Somebody put those hands to bless the name of the Lord Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. continue the service by singing the 2021 church anthem. He's on page 3 of the Transformation Era. In case you don't know it. your year of bountiful harvest shout hallelujah glory to god almighty we're going to be singing the um in four 
on the third page of our transformation era because he lives God sent his son They call him Jesus He came to love Heal and forgive He lived and died To by my pardon and empty grave is there to prove my Savior because he lives I can face tomorrow
We're taking the last stanza. Lift your voice high. And then one day I'll cross the river. I'll fight life's fight. No war with pain. And then as death gives way to victory, I'll see the light of glory and know that no he because he lives because he lives oh i can face tomorrow sing it with confidence because he lives all fear because I know oh, He owes my future And life is worth a living and just because He Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's be seated comfortably. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are happy to be in the presence of God, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The life transforming voice has a song to do this morning. And the title of the song says, God, show us mercy. You now touch your shirt and say, God, show me mercy. In year 2021, God, show me your mercy. Hallelujah. You are blessed. Yesterday can never be again All the blind can always see again Because of love And of your mercy Yesterday can never be again All the lame can always rise again Because of love And of your mercy To us mercy now To us mercy now We cry, O Lord We cry for mercy To us mercy Mercy now, 
We cry, O oh Lord. We cry for mercy. Yesterday can never be again. All the blind can always see again because of love and of God mercy. Yesterday can never be again. All the lame can always rise again because of love and of your mercy. Show us mercy now. Show mercy now we cry oh Lord we cry for mercy show us mercy now show us mercy now we cry, O oh Lord, we cry for mercy. Not because beauty that we are alive today. Not because you are righteous. That's you are alive today. It's because of love and of your mercy. And not because you are so righteous that you are alive today. And not because you are a preacher that's why you are alive today. Because of love and of God mercy, show us mercy now. Show us mercy now. We cry.
Hallelujah. It's all about God. It's all about his kingdom. It's all about life after life. It's all about divine intervention. It's about the goodness of God that never fails. I want to welcome everyone before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And I'm welcoming everyone who is so privileged to be part of this second phase of Through the Gates of Splendor. That by the time we are done here today in the name of the Lord of hosts, your journey that has been stranded over the years, you will discover the Lord has opened the way. And you will be among the testifiers in the midst of people. And I'm also out to announce unto you that you have made the right choice being around with God's people. This includes all our friends, brothers and sisters who are across the globe watching and being part with this program. Wind blows wherever it likes. You don't know where it's coming from, neither do you know where it's going. So are those who are born of the Spirit of God. And my prayer to God Almighty is that the Holy Spirit will locate you wherever you are. I said the Holy Spirit will locate you wherever you are. Nothing good will fall away from your story. Are you saying amen to that effect? We close our eyes to say thank you to God. We close our eyes to sing thank you to the Lord. We close our eyes to appreciate the one who is in control of our story. We close our eyes to remove ourselves from human distractions. To say, Lord, we appreciate you. On the personal ground, sister, when you look closely and you see clearly, you will know that God has been there. Anytime I see another home of the new day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anytime I see another seems to be no way he works in ways we cannot see he will make a way for oh he will be my guide hold me closely to his side with love and strength for each
Whatever help that belongs to you, help that belongs for your business, help that is applicable to your family, to your sons and daughters, to your helpers, help for your helpers at the gate in the name of Jesus Christ manifest. Show up in my life. Can you verbalize that? This is a tradition in Christendom. You verbalize your request. You believe in your, the intervention of the Lord. And the Lord approves that and your testimony comes out big. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Are you saying amen to that? You are going to pray that oppressors will vanish at your gates. Proverbs 22, 22 talks about it because a lot of afflictions also take place at the gate. Don't forget what we are going into today. It has to do with through the gates of splendor. Through the gates of what? Splendor. Anything splendor, it is not easy to break through it. So you are going to command every oppressor at your gate to disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ, all the oppressors at my gate disappear. Oppressors at the gate of my children disappear. Can you open your mouth and command in the name of Jesus? Every oppressor. Whatever is standing to oppress my life. Whatever is standing to oppress my children. Whatever is out to oppress my business. Whatever is out to oppress my ministry. Disappear from my gate. In the name of Jesus. My brother, please participate in this prayer. You are going to be glad you are a part with this prayer by the time we are done. Glory to God. Yes. Mareka polymamoseria. Yes. Let them disappear. In Jesus. Faithful name we have prayed. Job 38 verse 17 says something interesting. He's asking a question. He says, Have the gate of death been opened? They should not be open for you. Ilekwiku obodoshi. Whatever that is called gate of death, you are not going to be open over any project of my life. Either figurative death, or plain death, or domestic death, whatever it is that is called death, the, that gate will never be open. Are you ready to offer that prayer? In the name of Jesus, you, you gate of death, you will not be open. I lock you up in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Wherever, whatever that represents the gate of death, you are not going to be open. This month, you are not going to be open. There is what is called business death. There is what is, what is called favor, death of favor. Your favor will not be dead. Your helpers will not be dead. Yes, those who believe in your story, they will not be dead. Gate of death, you are not to be open. You are not. The blood of Jesus sealed you up. By the power of the Lord, I prophesy. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. The other one you are going to offer now 
is in Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. He says, the gates of hell shall not prevail. The gate of hell shall not do what? You are going to withdraw. Whatever it is that the gate of hell is using to prevail against you. Every instrument of the gate of hell. You are not going to be successful. Over my matter. In the name of Jesus Christ. My brother, can you open your mouth and withdraw? Withdraw every instrument of the gate of death. Every ambassador of the gate of hell. You are not permitted to succeed over my story. Yes. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' friendly name, we have prayed. Boba se ni an lo duro i bati maku. Boba se ni an lo duro i bati sala. Boba se ni an lo duro i bati masiribu. Oni duro mi eshe. Oni duro mi. Oni duro mi eshe. Oni duro mi eshe o To ba se ni on lo duro ni ati masoro To ba se ni on lo duro ni ati salo To ba se ni on lo duro ni ati masirego Oni duro mi eshe I hear, 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 I to ba se ni on lo duro ni wa ti ba si re gun O ni duro mi e se Now listen to this Why it not for the Lord on your matter? Nobody is expecting you at the gate of splendor If the Lord has commissioned human beings to be in custody of your progress You will have no story but Jesus, who knew you, who believed in you, who organized you, who ordained you, is the one. Aye, aye, alaro. Oni duro mi eshe o. Oni duro mi eshe o. To ba se ni on lo duro ni wa ti masoro. To ba se ni on lo duro ni wa ti salo. To ba se ni on lo duro ni wa ti masirego. O ni duro mi eshe o. O ni duro mi eshe o. To ba se ni on lo duro ni wati masoro. Jesu, to ba se ni on lo duro ni wati salo. To ba se ni on lo duro ni wati masirego. O ni duro mi eshe. All glorious, the great majestic one in the celestial realm, the Elohim. We praise you horizontally and vertically. With the totality of our mind, we come to you to say a very big thank you. We have just come 
the way we are to appreciate you. Because you have never given up on us. Each day, new story. Each step, new breakthrough. Every now, revelation. Then, another approach. Thank you, we never broke down. The devil has expected over time that we are going to break down and our story will be in the past. But we thank you today. Everyone under the sound of this voice today, I pray you will accept praises over their matter in the name of Jesus. Amen. Talk to us today again. Amen. Those who may still be remaining in bondage and captivity, release them. Amen. Thank you for having answered. In Jesus' qualified name, we have prayed. Amen. Shall we put our hands together to say thank you to Jesus? God bless you, please. You may be seated. Through the gates of splendor, I want to appreciate God on your behalf because something in you is under the supervision of the Almighty God for greatness. Last Sunday, I told you for those who are present that when God chooses you, you are His. Others may see you unqualified, but when God says you are there, you are there. And I also remember telling you that when he picks you, he assigns you. He is the assigner. You assign whatever assignment he has given unto you. He didn't do it when you are in the world. He did it when you are living the celestial realm above. And then I remember telling you also that your present setting may be born. It may be born, like I told you last week, from Isaiah chapter 61. And as a result of this experience, you are poor, broken hearted, held captive, become a prisoner, and you become a mourner. And indeed, you are grieving around. And the spirit of despair is picking up on you. But I'm out to tell you that we all have been born in one place or another in our life experience. But God doesn't want us to sit in the ashes of the wreckages. The gospel we preach is the gospel of beauty. And I tell you that this message of beauty is here for you, sir. It's here for you, madam, that you are not to sit in the ashes of your experience. It says, beauty now to replace the ash of your burnt situation. Businesses of some people are burnt. Families of some people are burnt. Helpers of some people are burnt. Some people cannot even pick up themselves at all. One man woke up at 70. He said, when did I become age 50? That now I am 70. It means something burnt a whole 20 years of his life without awareness. I am declaring to you today in the name of the Lord, you are moving away from the ashes. Are you saying a sincere amen to that? God can make the ash of your condition to become brilliant and beautiful. And that is why he has sent me across your way today so that you don't look at the bond situation at the end of the story. And I must also need to tell you that gospel is a good news. It transforms your spirit and makes you to understand God and his ways. Our topic again. Through the gates of what? Splendor. Fasten the belt of your mind. I'll take you for a higher flight today. And by the grace of the Almighty God, you will see yourself, you will accept yourself, you will rise by yourself, you will be at the gate, you will pass through the gate, 
your next level will be celebration to the glory of God. Don't forget, you are getting through that gate for him to display you as his splendor. Amen and amen. There were two key words in this time to through the gates of splendor. Number one, gates. Number two, splendor. Now, you can't stay where you are to get to where you are going. You must move. You must do what? You must move. You move before you arrive at where you are going. You will have to pass through many gates before you arrive at where you are going. This is true in the natural and this is true in the spiritual matter as well. You are coming to the gate of splendor, but there are some gates you must need to pass through. In fact, the Bible identifies about 22 gates that people pass before they arrive at the gate called splendor. Some passes through those gates without their knowing. Some are conscious at that gate. Some have been deliberately delayed that that gate will not be visible that is called splendor. You will have to experience different things at different gates of life. And that's why many people get there and couldn't pass. They couldn't pass through the gate. And if you pass through that gate, you will experience splendor. And the rich taste and expensive um, understanding become your portion when you pass through that gate. What are those gates? You will need to itemize some things to yourself because I know that your future will be brilliant. Can you re-look really into your story again? Look at the ashes of your bond situation. The Lord wants to transform it immediately under your immediate eyesight. Then you are asking, what are the different gates that are available? Number one, there's what is called gate of Sodom. Genesis chapter 19 verse 1, Lord sat at the gate of Sodom. What happened at the gate of Sodom? Sodom is not a good city. He was there. He sat down at the gate. Some people are at the gate of Sodom. And then another one, they are the gate of their enemies. In chapter 22, verse 17. Genesis chapter 22, from verse 17. Being at the gate of one's enemy. Apart from that, chapter 28, verse 17. The Bible talks about the gate of heaven. Gate of what? Heaven. That when you are there, you know you are meeting angels there. But when you are at the gate of your enemy, you know what to expect at that gate. Some other people in Exodus chapter 27 verse 16, they are the gate of the court. They are the gate of the court. Where somebody will judge them for what they don't even know anything about. They are the gate of the court. So identify which gate you have found yourself today, you are going to pass through that gate. And you will reach down to this gate that is called gate of splendor in the name of Jesus. Another one in chapter 32 verse 26. He talked about the gate of the camp. Gate of the what? Camp. So at the gate of the camp, of course you know that. Depending on those who are camping at that gate. That will determine what is going to happen. The gate of the camp. Now again, that's what is called gate between two walls. Gate between two walls. That's what Second Kings chapter twenty-five verse four talks about. Just follow me very carefully, because by the time I'm done with you today, in the name of the Lord, you will discover that all the bond situation of your life will become brilliant. Are you saying Amen to that? Then there's another one that is called Gate of the Valley. Gate of the Valley. Nehemiah chapter two from verse thirteen. Gate of the Valley. Downward is what is called valley. But even though it's downward, there's also gate there. Now, some people are at the gate of the valley. There's what is called gate of the fountain. What is producing water? And it's so regular, some people are at that gate, but they didn't allow them to touch the water. 
gate of the fountain. That's what is called an old gate. Old gate. Now, old gate is in Nehemiah chapter 3 verse 6. Now, the old gate has been there. It has refused your great-grandfather from entry. It has disallowed your father from entry. He's trying to disallow you also. And if he didn't allow you to enter, how will your children also enter? Old gate. Apart from that, that's what is called water gate. Water what? Water gate. In um, Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 3, that's what is called water gate. Now, we move again and we see another one that is called prison gate. Prison what? Gate. Either from outside, that person is coming, or from inside, the person wants to go out. Prison gate. Chapter 12, verse 39. Now, there's another one in Esther chapter 2, verse 19. Now, it talks about the king's gate. King's gate. Mordecai sat at the king's gate. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, you are not going to be lost in this world. Are you saying a sincere amen to that? Yeah. Mordecai sat at the king's gate. And at the end of the day, you read the remaining, you see the happy story. There's another one that is called the gate of the Lord. The gate of the Lord. Psalm 118 verse 20. Gate of the Lord. Identify which gate you find yourself now. There's another one that is called higher gate. Higher what? Higher gate. Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 2. Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 2. Higher gate. That's what is called the straight gate. That Jesus advised that you should pass through the straight gate. Matthew chapter 7 verse 13. Matthew 7 13. But another one is there in Acts chapter 3 verse 10. Beautiful gate. Beautiful what? Beautiful what? Beautiful gate you will get to beautiful gate. Now, there's another one in Acts chapter 12 verse 10. Iron gate. Iron what? Iron gate. That was what they wanted to use to lock down the apostle of the Lord. But when he was coming with the radiant power of resurrection, the iron gate opened of his own. Say, sir, we recognize your supremacy. And that was how that one passed through the iron gate. Apart from that, there's also what is called the gate of death. The gate of death. It will not be open for you this year. Amen. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. That's what Job chapter 38 verse 17 talks. Gate of death. It will not be open for your finances. Amen. It will not be open for your friends. Amen. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. It talks about the gate of brass. Gate of brass. Psalm 107 from verse 16 gate of brass is difficult to break but because of you god will break the gate of brass amen. are you saying amen to that amen. Ah, it says open to me the gate of righteousness psalm 118 verse 19 open for me gate of what righteousness like as i said before if poverty will make us to lie then we will never get to righteous existence why don't we tell the truth so that we can have access to where we are going it may be delayed but the sweetness that follow righteous living is unequal praise the lord and the last one is what is called the gate of hell Matthew 20, chapter 16, verse 18. Gate of hell shall not do what? Shall not do what? Let me prophesy upon someone's destiny today. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the midst of all these gates, you will not collapse. As you cross from one level of gate to another level of grave, you will not be disappointed. Say a committed amen to that. A lot of people have been delayed in this evil gate. And they are there 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. But today, you are passing through the gate of splendor. Amen. And your testimony will be shareable. Amen. Don't forget, for each of these gates, 
there are keepers of the gate. Keepers of what? First Chronicle chapter 9, verse 19 tells that that gates are not just existing. There are those who monitor inside, those who come in or go out. And those people, if they say you are not going, you are not going. And that is why a lot of people have been banished at the gate. Apostle Paul also says it. He said, great and effectual door is opened unto me, but there are many evil gatekeepers. Many what? Evil gatekeepers. If they have been appointed there from your lineage, that there is a boundary that nobody must cross, that everybody, when you come to that level, you must stand still. I hereby proclaim from this altar today, he who has promised to make you to pass through the gate of splendor, he will set you free from that prison. Amen. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. When you look at the numbers of gates that are available, there are gates that some people set up to judge you. You are not even aware of what they are accusing you of, yet they use it to block you from having a child. You are not part of the problem that they are trying to push against your life, yet they scatter your family. Somebody after prayers, that one started to confess. What was our own duty in occult world? Our duty to be able to receive evil promotion is to be selling the womb of all the girls in the family. The womb, the womb they are going to use in carrying their baby. Supernaturally, she sells it to other people so that those one will not be able to have the womb that will be able to retain baby in their womb. I hereby decree from here, if there is any good thing in you that somebody astrally has sold out, the Lord Almighty buys them back. Amen. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. Marital destiny of some people have been sold out and they keep on moving around. I hereby decree from this altar because of he who has said you are passing through the gate of splendor. Let your matrimonial opportunity return back to you. Amen. Say powerful amen to that. Amen. Jesus says, I am the way to speak the truth and life will be maintained. The way, the truth, and the life. He said, no man cometh into the gate of splendor, but by me. As many who have been locked down at the gate of their enemies. Today, in the name of Jesus, Jesus says, loose him and let him go. I hereby decree in the name of Jesus, let the power of the Lord to loose you from that gate. In the name of Jesus. Every invisible limitation that anybody through curses or through a form of evil preparations had made to lock you down and to make you to be useless to yourself. I have come today in the name of the Lord. Of course, you remember, according to that, Isaiah 61 verse 1, I said, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me. The spirit, the breath of the sovereign Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach. My preaching this day is good news. Good what? Good what? Good is good. Good cannot be bad. I come across your way with the message of good and beautiful. The Lord Almighty visit you with the good. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. Freedom for those who are the head captive. Say amen to that. Amen. Release from darkness. Amen. Those who have been held as a prisoner. If you have been held in darkness... Let the light of God locate you wherever you are. In all the seven continents of the entire planet. Let the hand of the mighty Jehovah reaches out to you there. Whatever you have thought impossible, the Lord will make it possible. Say a living amen to that. He has sent me to comfort all the mourners. Is there anyone that is mourning inwardly? You are mourning because of your situations. In the name of the Lord, receive comfort. Say a live amen to that. And also to provide for those who grieve. Are there some people that are grieving? Because of the death of a loved one. Are there some people that are grieving? 
because your property was taken away from you by those who are stronger than you. You are grieving because you look at your life, nothing to write home about. He says, I shall tell you, that right from today, divine provision will be your portion. Amen. Somebody say, is he preaching? Is he prophesying? I've told you before. My assignment is very clean. He says, lead my people through the gate of splendor. He is the one who will do it, and he says he's going to do it. And he says, a crown of beauty. A crown of what? Instead of ashes. And there are some people today, their conditions have been burnt to ashes. If that is your story, wherever you are, I decree, wherever, United Arab Emirates, Nigerian society, America, India, wherever, Australia, wherever you are hearing me from, I decree from now, all those ashes of your condition, let them transform in the name of Jesus. Are you mourning? The Lord says, oil of gladness. Oil of gladness. The Lord anoint you there. Receive the divine anointing that will trans move you away from where you are to where you should be. And I decree that before this year runs to the close, pencil today down in the name Elohim. Pencil today down in the name Jehovah, who is our everlasting strength. Pencil today down that the gladness will be your portion from now. Garment of praise, the Lord give it to you. No more disgrace. No more isolation. Amen. No more backwardness. Amen. No more never do well. Amen. I decree from here that despair is no longer your inheritance. Amen. Say, living amen to that. Amen. Yes, you are an oak. You are what? You are what? An oak is a big tree. Useful, productive, powerful, and the Lord make you an oak. Say amen to that. Amen. The Lord will make you to display the splendor. Amen. Your life will be a reflection amen. of transformation agenda of Jehovah. Amen. He has sent me to pass a message to you. Message is greater than the messenger. And therefore whatever is sick around you, whatever is bound around you, whatever is limited around you, whatever is blinding your helpers, Whatever is weakening your chances, whatever is burying your glory, whatever is selling your opportunity, whatever is making you irrelevant, whatever is making you a great giant cockroach that is not useful, I hereby declare in the name of Jesus, let them receive the power of God. Say a living amen to that. You will live long. Short life is not your story. Somebody says, is that talking to me? Yes. It is about you. It is about you. Gospel is good news. You have had a lot of terrifying news over the time. You have been deceived. You have been cajoled. But he said, I should give to you today. Gospel of good. He said, I should tell you that brilliancy is retained in the celestial realm. Psalm 24 verse 7 says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, every gate that has been rebellious, against your life progress, every gate, matrimonial, every gate, financial, every gate, social, every gate, supernatural. Yes, it says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, be thou lifted up, ye everlasting doors. For the king of the Christians, the king of ages, wants to enter. Who is the king of kings? Is the Lord, who is mighty and powerful in battle. Every gate standing against your progress, let them be open. Say a loud amen to that. Therefore, 
connect yourself together. Psalm 100 and verse 4 says, Enter. Let the Spirit of the Lord draw you in. Let the power of the Lord draw you here. You have been fed with the gospel of fear. You have been loaded with the gospel of uncertainty. You have been deceived by the gospel of distraction. And Apostle Paul says, No we or an angel should preach to you another gospel. Apart from the revealed gospel of the Bible, he said, Let them be accursed. This one is the gospel of good. Is the gospel that will lead you to your splendor. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, enter with praise. Enter with praise. Enter with praise. You know what? You must need to go through. You must go through the gate for the display of his splendor. When you enter, beauty replace ashes. I will show you from biblical principle now. And after that, I will allow you to flow freely. Through that gate, Isaiah chapter 62. Maybe you have never seen this before. From verse 6. Isaiah chapter 62 from verse 6. Elohim Jehovah have said what men over thy wall, O Jerusalem, we shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest, till he establish. God will establish you. In your father's house, he will establish you. Till he make Jerusalem a place in the earth, the Lord has sworn by his right hand, and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more give your corn to be meat for your enemy. Can you see that? You know, there are times you have provision, but your enemy eats it up. He says, it will no longer be. And the sons of the strangers shall not drink of your wine. For the, the which thou hast labored, but they that have gathered it shall eat it. And praise the Lord, and they that have brought it together shall drink it in the court of my holiness. Look at verse 10. If you are the owner of that Bible, look at verse 10. Look at verse 10. Isaiah 62 verse 10. Are you ready to, see, to read it loud? What does he say? Go through. Go through the gate. Prepare ye the way for the people. Cast off. Cast off the highway. Gather out the stone. Lift up a standard for the people. The Lord is for you. You are going through. You are not going to break down. The Lord says go through. And if he says go through, you will go through. And you will go through. And you will go through. He said, behold, the Lord has proclaimed unto the end of the world. Say ye to the daughters of Zion, behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him. And his work before him. And they shall call them. They shall. Is that in your Bible? Is that in your Bible? Now, because when you cross that gate, all your ashes are replaced and they are becoming beauty. And they shall call them what? Holy people. The redeemed of the Lord. And thou shall be called what? you be called what? And a city what? No, nobody will forsake you again. Are you saying amen to that? When you enter through the gate, you worship the Lord. You do what? Right from today. Listen to worship the Lord will not be short in your life. Right from now, as you pass through the gate of splendor, you will have testimony daily. Say, like, amen. amen. Say, is there a practical biblical instance for what you are preaching? Yes, sir. Acts 3. If you read from verse 1 to verse 10, there was a story of an ugly man at a beautiful gate. Ugly man at where? Beautiful gate. Some people are feeding 
upon his situation. And he has taken it as part of his lot. Madam, it's not your lot, sir. It is not your lot. That man almost said, well, they must have to. If those people that are carrying him to the beautiful gate say, there's rain today. We are going to increase um, the amount we normally collect per day. Or you can go to the gate by yourself. Does he have the leg to go there? No. He will beg them, please carry them. Pay them before we carry you today. As they ship this post, the man will be saying, you know my condition. I say, yes. It's your condition that is giving us food now. You know some people are wicked to that point. And they will make sure that your condition never improves. If that is your story, today, go through. Amen. Go through. Amen. In the name of Jesus, go through. Amen. Whatever gate that has been locking you, you are passing through that gate. Amen. You are coming to the gate that is called the gate of splendor. Amen. Am I hearing amen to that? Amen. This ugly man came to the temple as usual. But another thing happened. Power jam. Power does what? Jam. Those people are just coming casually to service. They, God never revealed to them they are going to change the destiny of somebody. They were just coming in and say, okay, we are going to pray today and all. Before that one was begging for money. But suddenly, guess what happened? Those last one, they said, well, silver and gold we don't have. But such as we have in the name of the Lord, do what? Rise up. And he thought it was a joke. How can I rise up? How can I rise up? It's not as if you know how to treat books. But the power that was with them is able to turn the story. Ugly man at a beautiful gate. He became beautiful. At a beautiful gate. And that was the display of his splendor. Look at verse 7. And he took him by the right hand. Acts chapter 3, verse 7. And lifted him up. Immediately, his feet and ankle bone received what? Let all your joints and your ankle bone receive strength. Yeah. Am I hearing amen to that? Yeah. Every cartilage and bones and blood and everything that is in you receives strength. Look at the next thing that happened. It is a display of the splendor of God. And he, one fellow me share. And he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple. He, he has never entered into the temple. His own maximum at the gates. But when God wants to show the display of the divine splendor, he now enters into the temple, walking and leaping and what? Praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God will change your story. Amen. To the point that those who knew your story before, they will be praising God for you. Amen. It is testimony that is not big enough that will hide. When it's big enough, Testimony will be testifying itself and people will say, man, Larry, this lady, she gets testimony. I hereby decree as we pass through the gates of splendor, wherever you are hearing me from in the name of Jesus, you will live and praise God. Amen. Say, living amen to that. Amen. A shocker printed in 2 Samuel chapter 9. Another story because out of the mouth of two or three, the purpose is established. In 2 Samuel chapter 9, from verse 1 to verse 13, a whole chapter, there was a story of a young man by the name Mephibosheth. Mephi what? Mephi what? Mephibosheth. Now, listen. Mephibosheth, everything around him worked against him. I don't know anyone here or wherever you are hearing me from that your situation worked against you and you know it. Number one around Mephibosheth was that, number one. Helper that wanted to help him early in life carried him while that one was running so that they would not kill him. He fell down and he broke the leg. And so the leg was like that. So the leg and the hand, things were not working again. Error number one. Number two, the king that was reigning does not like to see a deformed person. 
Error number two. Error number three. Anybody that killed a lame person will take promotion in the kingdom of David. Now, for a prophet to now come, say, Mephibo said, Thus says the Lord, Thou shalt be at the palace of the king, eating at the palace of the king, and all the properties of your father that the enemies have taken, you will have it. If you are the Mephibo, say, Will you believe? He will just say, Matan me, or Bakano Shobokonye, or Bama Shekini. Matter me, if you are deceiving yourself, don't deceive me. Me, I know what constitution of the country says. I don't belong to that order. It was like the story of a particular man. He did something for me, and I was asking God, God, what can I do to say thank you to this man? I dropped my hand in pocket. He has more than what I think. If I buy whatever I want to buy, and the Lord spoke to me in the name of the Lord over your matter. Testimony that will make you to dance will happen to you. Amen. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. The Lord spoke to me and said, The day he come visiting you in your office, when he comes and two of you, you are eating, I will talk to you. Praise the Lord. So, and this is the man who ordinarily, when he goes out, he does not eat. So, the day he came visiting me at the camp, and I sent for food. We were just talking. I said, thank you, sir, for what God used to for, and all, and all, and all. And, but I didn't forget what the Lord spoke to me. And then, when they now brought the food, I said, sir, wash your hand and let's be eating. And he said, no. Um, I'm, I'm just okay. I said, you can't come to me without you eating. So you are going to eat, even if it's only going to be two. It will show a sign of friendship and friendliness. So, I was eating and all himself washed his hand and he was doing it. Praise the Lord. While he was eating, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and said, This is the next person for so so and so seat. Tell him that is going to happen. As soon as that happened, after the food, I washed my hand. I said, This is what the Lord says. You are the next person in line for this, this, this. He said, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He said, I would have loved to believe your prophecy if I belong, if I was born in that state. I wasn't born in the state. And by the law, whoever is not born in the state cannot attain to that seat. Ah, and I look very stupid for prophesying such things. Immediately the Lord took me away in the spirit again and showed me some two people. They hung this man at their shoulder and they carried him through a golden gate. And one out of the two, at a particular time, the man invited me to come and pray for him. And I said, this is what the Lord says. You are going to be on that seat as the Lord lives. And one, this is how you are going to know. Two people are going to support you. One of them, you are going to invite me to come and pray for the person. It will be a sign to tell you that you are going to be on that seat. Say, okay, sir. And that was it. He entered into his jeep, drove off. I said, Jesus, why do you have to talk this one to me now? You say, when the Lord says the person who doesn't, who doesn't belong to that state cannot see, why did you tell that one? Say, say, wait now, we will see. Three months later, the man just invited me and he said that, that AYZ is sick. That you just want me to pray. And all. I said, no problem. So that was how we went. When we got to the place, I just prayed, pram, and then I stopped. And the man invited him into the room. What they were discussing in the room, I was hearing. But they didn't know I was hearing. So where do you get that pastor from? That pastor looked like somebody who knows what he's doing. It's not among these modern day uh, flippant pastors. Where do you get him from? But I couldn't hear his own voice. But I heard the voice of that man say, that man. Don't leave him alone. There are quite a number of good that can flow from him. And that was it. So he never told me that. So we left. When the time came, this man was installed. We were doing a program here. The day was coming on Wednesday. He just wore t shirt And um, not only t shirt he also wore this um, uh, uh, jeans. Jeans and t shirt 
And um, I was doing counseling there. So he just opened the gate. Say, hey, Pastor, sir, I just want to say hello. Ah. I said, Is that you, sir? Please let me finish this counseling and I will see you. Praise the Lord. As soon as he came, he prostrated flat on the ground and said, I never believe that you prophesied that this is going to happen. I decree today. The Lord who never deceives. I decree today. He whose name is called the I am. I decree today in the name of the Lord who never told a lie before. That you are not going to end up in ashes. I decree today in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is that is out. To lock you down. To the backwardness of your lineage. Almighty God remove you away from it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Guess what happened to Mephibosheth? David said, I want to pay back for my friend, Jonathan, who was with me through my tough time. But he has died. Is there no one among his seed that I can show that I am human being? Not all human beings are human. Hello? Not all human beings are what? Human. There are human beings that carry brain of dog. They get to where they are getting to, they forget their helpers. David said, is there no other seed of David? I mean, uh, uh, Jonathan, that I can show kindness to. I'm now on the throne. Everything is at my command. But there was always somebody who will know the story. And that was how Ziba said, May I know one of his sons? So his name is called Mephiboseth. But, sir, for your information, the leg is not good, though. Hello? The leg is not what? It's not good, though. And the rule of the country says, Mbaano. The information, read it when you get home. 2 Samuel chapter 9, 13 verses does not waste your time. And that was how they went after Mephibosheth. <laughs> they said, King David is calling for you. Say, ah! You want to use me to take promotion? Ah! They will kill me for this. He said, he's calling you. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. What you thought was a bad news. Almighty will use it to raise you higher. In the name of Jesus. The one who is sending for you. Wants to help you. When favor comes in. I was sharing with my pastor this morning. In the office. When favor comes it comes. If it has not come it has not come. I pray in the name of Jesus. Door of your favor will open. Are you saying amen to that? What you never believe can happen in a lifetime, the Lord will make it to happen to you. You know, sometimes they say the prophet is without honor in his own country, but the words of the prophet normally get fulfillment in his own country. Therefore, I pray in the name of Jesus that every limitation that has not kept you into the focus of God, Almighty God breaks it away from your life. Those who have been sent to go and monitor you. To keep you perpetually poor, perpetually backward, perpetually unhappy, the Lord Almighty will change their heart. Say a life amen to that. The next thing that happened to Mephibosheth, he arrived with the leg of another person. It was not the leg of Mephibosheth. The leg of his helpers carried Mephibosheth until he arrived at where God was waiting for him. And right there, King David said, Everything that belonged to your father, I return it back to you. Number two, on my table, against the rule of government, on my table, against what popular opinion reside, on my table, you'll be eating. And he gave him that opportunity till the last breath 
of his nostrils. Rise up on your feet. Through the gates of splendor, may people self enjoy it. Let man at a beautiful gate enjoy it. Can you lift your two hands up to heaven to say, Lord, look in my direction and have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. In the name of Jesus Christ, make me to go through. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will do that to honor your life. He will do that to honor your family. This nation will not go under. The purpose of God will be realized. To the glory of God the Father. To the glory of God the Son. To the glory of God the Holy Spirit. The Lord is on the throne. The purpose of His will, He can fulfill it. The word of the Lord has come to you today. Yes, without faith, it is impossible to please God. He that must come to God must believe that He is, and He's a rewarder for those who diligently seek Him. You are going to pray, the Lord will open the book of remembrance. Open the book of remembrance, oh God. On my matter, the book of remembrance. I must not be burnt. Yes, whatever good thing has been burnt in my life, let them become transformed. Yes. Exchange ashes for beauty in my life. What is it that is burnt in your life? What is it that is burnt in your family? What is it that is burnt in your business? Yes. We all have had that experience before. But the brilliancy of eternal majesty steps into the matter. Lord, change my story. Change my story. Change my story. Change my story. Are you praying? Your word will matter. Do not keep quiet. Your words will matter. Do not keep quiet. He sent his word and his word healed them. Lord, heal me through your word. Heal me through your word. May Phoebe said, never believed that his story is changing. When the news came that the king was sending for him, the Lord is raising a voice for you in the high places. The Lord is raising someone for you. Messengers of the king is coming in your direction original messenger of the king of king and the lord of law they are coming for you your damaged business your damaged spiritual life your damaged family will be repaired he has done it for many people he will do your own too when you pass through the gate of splendor there is a display like the man at the beautiful gate he became a choir leader someone who has never entered into the temple because his matter was a bad bad story at the beautiful gate when god changed his story he entered into the temple and he had testimony and song to sing give me a song this year a song that is not previously composed. When God visits you suddenly, you sing from the Spirit. When God visits you, impossibility becomes possible. Those who knew your story, they come nearer. You want to say, Lord, if there is sin in my life, Lord Jesus, please have mercy upon me. Forgive me, Lord, of sins in my life. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You are going to say to the Lord, please accept me. As I confess my sin today, restore all my bond situation into beauty. Restore them. Restore my family. Restore my marriage. Restore my money. Restore my health. Health of some people have been burnt down. Lord, restore me. Restore my spiritual service. Lord, restore me. 
Are you asking him to do it? The Lord is on your side. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Through the gate of splendor for the rest of your life. If you pass through this gate, he has never saved you for you to be stranded. Yes. This, he has saved you so you can be a display of the splendor of the Lord. Are you saying to the Lord that from today, the rest of my life will be at the center of your will. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Pray for the Lord to bring restoration. It is not a general prayer. You know in which area of your life you want restoration. Ask the Lord to restore you. Pray to God. In this area, I want the restoration. And the Lord will assist to your prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are prayed. Almighty God, we thank you. This powerful message will not be lost on us in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. We pray, Father, in this year 2021, our year of bountiful harvest, we shall move through that gate of splendor into bountiful harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. Our God and our Father, where people have seen ashes in our story, ashes in our situation, they will now see the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every gate of brass, every gate of iron that has been standing against our God-established destiny, as we go out of this service today, they will come crashing down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The choir prayed, Lord, show us mercy. Almighty God, this year, at every point, let your mercy start to speak for us in Jesus' name. The Apostle Paul said in 1 Timothy 1, 13, that God has shown me mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. He killed people. He said, God has shown me mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. Almighty Father, wherever we have acted foolishly, and sinned against you. Lord, forgive us today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By reason of the service of today, Lord, forgive us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray for our Father in the Lord. Nothing will impede his passage through the gate of splendor in the mighty name of Jesus. He will pass through with everything that gives him joy and happiness in Jesus' name. He will pass through with this ministry that God has placed in his hand. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural divine provision. God will set it at his door in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. David restored to Mephibosheth everything that his father owned. Wherever your servant has been robbed, wherever your servant has been mistreated, wherever your servant has been cheated, almighty God, let there be monumental restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. He will look back, almighty God, and count whatever he has lost as nothing. Because a hundredfold restoration will happen in his life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Offering time. If you are sure... You are passing through the gate of splendor and you are coming back with bountiful testimony shout hallelujah do we have titus in the house tight is 10 percent of your income tight is god's money in your money do we have titus in the house package and come forward with your tight if you have transferred it, come forward for prayers. I want you to water your seed by yourself. Father, I have obeyed you. Use it to uplift me. Use it to strengthen me to be able to pass through the gate of splendor. Use it to restore back everything that has been stolen away from my life. 
Open the windows of heaven and pour down your blessing upon me. I hope you are watering your seed with your, the words of your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your children. In obedience to your word, they are bringing in their tithe. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, reward of obedience is blessing. I ask, O oh Lord, you will bless them abundantly in the name of Jesus. As a church, we decree you have brought your tithe, so it will not be tight for you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will use it to promote your life in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we decree you will never lack anything good in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. What you are sowing today will be the least you ever give. The Lord will multiply you exceedingly in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want everyone to package your offering, rise up on your feet while we pray on our offering. I want every one of us to rise up on our feet. Rise up on your feet. And I want you to tell God to appreciate you have brought this token. Accept it from me. Use it to open the door of remembrance concerning me. Use it to promote my cause this week, this year, this month. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I hope you are talking to God. I hope you are telling him you just want to show appreciation by this gift that the Lord will use it to bless you abundantly. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you. You didn't permit us to come to your house empty-handed. Out of much we have given to us, we are bringing this token to say we love you. We ask you to accept it from our hands in Jesus' name. And you will use it to bless our life to multiply us exceedingly in the name of the Lord Jesus. Use it to strengthen us to pass through our gate of splendor in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray.